Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu, he had a disorder in his chair, his legs are very small. So one day he was climbing up the tree and some of the sahaba were looking at his legs and you know, they were kind of making a joke out of it. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam immediately stopped them and he said, on the day of judgment, these legs of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu will be heavier on the scale of deeds, even heavier than the mountain of Ahad. So these calamities that come on people, they are the test of Allah Azza wa Jal. And if a person, he's been saved, he should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And providing for them, being there for them. Giving them assistance. This is the message Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is the message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, assisting them. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa famous hadith about salah, praying salah in congregation. The Sahabi radiallahu anhu narrates the hadith, he says during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, everyone would attend every salah in, in the masjid. Or they will try to attend every salah in the masjid. Only those people who were left out, munafiqun nifaquhu ma'lumun, those hypocrites that their hypocrisy was exposed in front of people, these people won't come to the masjid for regular prayers. Even an individual who could not walk properly, needed assistance of two people, he would also come to the masjid by having the assistance of two individuals. Their stage, their being not able to walk, not to do things, would not stop them. Why? Because there were people there for them. There were people there for to, to assist them, to help them. And not to make them realize of what they're missing in their life. Not to make them realize, to look down upon them. This is why, as a Muslim ummah, as we have, mashallah, Allah Azza wa Jal has given people their health, their wealth, their ability to do things, but there are many other, there are other individuals who are not able to do those things. Care for them, just two words is gonna make them feel happy. There are people who need assistance, there are people who need help. And Allah has given you that ability. Allah Azza wa Jal has given you your health, your wealth. Allah has given you your children that you see them, you be happy for them. You see them progress in their life. You see them getting education. You see them playing sports. You see them doing many things. Showing gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jal is one of the ways of caring for those people who don't have those facilities available who are not that healthy, just being for them. Assisting them when you see them outside. Trying to make room for them, open your heart for them. Bending the rules for them. And wallah, this small thing from an individual side, the help and the mercy that Allah will give you is beyond your imagination. Because this is the dua that you will earn. This is the dua that you will earn. And that's the dua that's going to make a miracle in your life.